It seems that the Georgie boy has caused some shit over the past 24 hours, which wasn't my intention by any means. I'm making this video because I just wanted to explain, literally, I think I'm just doing it because it's good for interaction. I'm getting good views at the moment. I just think, why not fucking milk it? That's the only reason I'm doing this. I don't give a fuck outside of that. But long story short, anyway, welcome, actually, hi. Welcome to the welcome to the video. Hope you are all okay. And uh, if you are new around here, please subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Share it to your stories. So that helps the channel grow, all that sort of good stuff. Four weeks ago, I went and trained over in Stoke, strength aside. I haven't ever never been there before used to bring back train by JP vibes Eddie Hall vibes So I thought why not try it out record it for the YouTube channel, you know show my experience Tell you what the gym's all about and if you're interested you can go yourself and try it So when I always go to a new gym the first thing I always do is I ask the the person behind the counter or the owner Whoever's there is it okay for me to film in this gym just out of respect I'm that sort of guy I always will ask for permission before I record if not if they say no you can't record in here That's fine. I won't record I'll either go somewhere else or I just simply will train and not record. I've had it ha I've had it before and it's totally fine. Not bothered about it. Girl behind the counter, young girl, she was like, yeah, totally fine, you record. Recorded, did my usual sort of session. Had this guy constantly come up to me about a fucking tripod. Now he's saying like, just be careful with the tripod. If the owner comes in, just be careful. You might have a go at you for having the tripod. And I said, look mate, like, it's a very quiet gym at the time. It was around about six o'clock on a Saturday evening. So around anywhere between like seven, eight o'clock. I was like, it's very quiet gym. If he comes in and tells me to put the tripod away, I will or I'll just simply leave. No one came in. No one was bothered by the tripod. I'll link the video up here for you guys to watch if you haven't watched it already. It was a very quiet gym. So on Sunday, today's is... No, it was on Monday. Today is uh, Wednesday. And I received a random phone call off this no no caller ID. And I was like, okay, who's this? Normally I don't answer that sort of stuff because sometimes I've had subscribers prank call me. They've somehow got my number and prank called me, all that sort of shit. So I answered it and I was like, hello, who's this? And he's like, is this George? I was like, yes, yeah, speaking. It's like, oh, you've been... I'm the owner of Strength Asylum. I won't say his name. He then just started going, so you've been recording in my gym you've been using tripods in my gym without permission um, and I was like right okay well firstly I did get permission otherwise I wouldn't wouldn't have done that and he's like well you, you recorded in my gym you fucking influence he just basically went in on me he's like you fucking influencer you think you can come here pay five pound for a day pass and you think you own the fucking place you don't own a place this and that he fucking went in and I was like whoa 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 first of all I came to the gym and I did say a few words in the previous video about when I went there. I said it was an average gym. It's not great anymore. So that probably triggered him a little bit. He weren't happy probably about that. If I gave the gym compliments, he'd have probably probably wouldn't even call me in the first place. Probably would have been totally fine. But then basically what he just said to go on about was one, you're recording in my gym, which um, is banned. You need to ask for permission, which I did. I got the approval or I need to pre-book it. Never in my life have I ever seen anything like that before. And secondly, I was recording and there was people in the background. So for example, someone in the background was just walking past one of the clips and apparently I need permission from them to record, which I've never had an issue in my life. Never had an issue in my life with having to ask people, is it okay if you, if I can record and you be in the background? I've had it before where people have been in the background that came over to me and say, look, can I not be in your video or whatever you're trying to do? And I massively respect that. The fact that they've came over to me and had the bollocks to say that and tell me, look, I don't want to be in your video or whatever you're doing. I'm like, fine, that's cool. I won't include the video clip at all because I show respect. If people don't want to be in it, people don't want to be in it. Fair to fair. I don't need to go up to every single person in the fucking gym and ask, is it okay for you to be in the background of my video? Is it okay? So apparently that's wrong. The issue lies is that when I went onto Strength Asylum Instagram page and I went on to tag photos, the amount of people that upload a selfie, there's people in the background, the amount of people that record their sets in the background, post it on Instagram, and there's people walking in the background. What's the difference between me recording for YouTube and a guy uploading a photo onto Instagram and people being in the background? There's no fucking difference. I'm sure they didn't ask for permission off those people, did they? Of course they fucking didn't. I was a little bit confused about that, and basically, long story short, we were just going back and forth, and I was like, mate, this is not going anywhere. He's like, you're bound from the gym. I said, good, that's fine, because I made the decision I don't want to come back in the fucking first place when I, when I went to the gym anyway, so he didn't even need to tell me that. And then he proceeds to upload a post the next following day saying tripods are banned so he uploaded on Facebook this I got sent this the other day it's on the Strength Asylum Facebook page and he wrote here I must have missed the, the point where it went from people coming to the gym and to train and socialize then go home now it appears that you bring your camera and tripods with 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 you every time to go document your session that nobody gives a fuck about 
it's a bit of a punch in the dig. Uh, it's a bit of a punch in the stomach, sorry, to uh, to a lot of the members that go there. So yeah, they're banned tripods because it's a health and safety hazard. If a tripod is a health and safety hazard, what about a fucking bottle on the floor? What about your gym bag on the floor? Is that not a health and safety hazard? Is not a water bottle on the floor? How about the weights on the floor? You know, you don't fucking ban weights on the floor, do you? Weights in the gym because they're on the floor. Of course you fucking don't. It confused me that first of all, and I was like, I, I kind of milked it on Instagram. You may have seen my Instagram over the past 24 hours. I've been absolutely fucking milking it and taking the piss make sure you follow me on there george walton 12 the links will be down below <laughs> And what, what concerns me is that Eddie Hall was allowed to train in there. Trained by JP was allowed to train and record in there. They both were. Their response to that, well, apparently Eddie, people give a fuck about Eddie. People give a fuck about JP, which is fair. They do. They actually do. But the reason Strength Asylum is as well known as it is, is one, because of Eddie Hall, is because of Dray, trained by JP. It's because they used to train there and they used to record in there. That's the only reason it's well known. Other than that, there'd be an absolute nobody. So the fact that he's came out with like everyone fucking recording. The thing that I, that I see now, nowadays, is time is changing. It's normal now for people to go in with cameras like myself with you recording your session having a tripod set up the people that are, that are dead against that are two types of people so you've got the type of person that is a, a typical gym guy i go to the fucking gym i train i train hard i'd literally do dumbbell exercise or free weight exercises i go home i then fucking eat i then go beat my missus have a fucking can of stella and then i go and watch fucking kids porn on my fucking laptop and then go to sleep you got those type of people and then you've also got the type of person that is still back in the 80s Back in my day, we never used to do this. We never used to do that. Back in my day, we used to never train without tripods. We used to go to the gym. You know, there's sort of old people that just fucking live in the past and can't accept that things change. You get those sort of people. You see it in everything, you know. Back in my day, we never used to do this. Back in that, that sort of twat. So like beyond like 50 years old. Not If you're watching this above 50, I don't direct that at you. But most people that fucking, like, oh, we never used to do this back in my day. I've been training for 30 years. I know more than what you do. You know, that sort of person. Fuck off. You fucking dickhead, you old cunt. Anyway, sorry, I'm going off on one. Those are the type of people, yeah, that, that get pissed off about this sort of situation. But what we need to realise is times change. Times change, and surprisingly, I can go into the gym and record, and I can make a living from that now. Like, back in the day, it was you finish school, you get a nine to five, and you work a nine to five for the rest of your life. It's very different nowadays, especially since COVID. Like, you don't need to go to work. You don't need to make a living by going to work. You can actually go and record yourself in a gym. Surprise, surprise, guess what? I make money from doing that. I make money by you watching this video right now. I make money by going and recording myself going to the gym. I make money through going to different gyms and trying it out and giving reviews. I make money from that, it's brilliant, right? Like, you can do that nowadays. But the older generation are like, no, 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 you need to fucking go work and do a nine to five and do what I've been doing for the past 30 years because I know best and I'm fucking live my life. Suck your mum. Oh wait, you can't. Sorry, that is so out of line. That is so out of line, I'll get in trouble for that. Um, I'll keep that in, should I keep that in, George? I don't even know, should I? Oh, I'm just gonna do it, I don't care. The benefits of having a tripod in gyms, a lot of people nowadays, like, I think it's good to film yourself in the gym. I massively promote it. I promote it with all my clients. I promote it with guys that watch me. Film yourself. Analyze how you're training. And who cares if someone fucking filming in the gym with a tripod? Like, I must admit, sometimes it's a pain in the ass. You see this big tripod in the fucking gym. It's a pain in the ass. You think, fuck's sake, like, I've got to walk around him. But how hard is it to walk around a fucking tripod and not be in the camera view? Or, the thing that I don't like about people is people set a tripod up in the gym and they get fucking pissed off when someone walks in front. I don't care. If you walk in front of the tripod, it doesn't bother me. Like, do your thing because the tripod's there, I'm recording. It, it doesn't bother me. It does bother me when people start getting triggered about like, you're walking in front of the tripod, you could have easily walked around it. Who gives a fuck? We're in a public space, they can do whatever they want, I can do whatever I want. But if you have the audacity and you have the, no, if you are respectful, then you just clearly walk past it, don't you? Walk around it. It takes you two seconds to walk around a fucking tripod. 
Secondly, a tripod is not a tripping hazard. You must be thick as shit. If you're tripping over a huge four foot tripod, it's the same, nearly the same height as me. If you're tripping over it, you must not be, you shouldn't be in a gym in the first place because you're too clumsy. You, too, you need to get off your phone, you need to open your eyes and if you can't see a tripod in front of you, then God fucking help you because you need to, to reevaluate your life if that's the case. So that's the second thing. And yeah, I understand that people are gonna agree with this, people are gonna also dislike this, and I see both sides of the story. But at the end of the day, like, I'm entitled to film in the gym just like someone's able to fucking go in and wear shit shoes or shit fucking shorts, you know? I don't wanna see that, I don't wanna see you fucking wearing a vest in the gym, but people do, innit? Because people don't, get, it's, it's, it's not the same thing, but you kinda get what I mean. I don't know if that's a good, I don't know if that was a good comparison. So yeah, I've, I've seemed to, I've seemed to have caused some some trouble here, but I massively promote using a tripod. I want you to use a tripod. I want you to look at yourself. I want you to document your journey, document your progress. I think it's fucking crazy. I think it's great when I see someone that's gone from shit to then change their life through do documenting it and filming what they've been doing in the gym. I take motivation. I take insp in inspiration from that. I think that's class. I think if you're filming yourself in the gym, you are invested into your progress. You are taking this seriously. Yeah, you do get the average sort of gym go. You get the Carol who's 40, who's in her fucking day job and she comes to the gym and oh, she sees all these tripods. I get that. You get those type of people everywhere you go. But I think don't shit on people that are trying to document their progress and trying to better themselves and improve themselves. Like the reason why gyms are well known or the reason why, for example, like I'll give you an example. Physique's Gym, Hemel Hempstead. I used to train there before I moved up north. They gave me a discount on my membership. They gave me a discount because I helped gave, I, I gave the gym exposure. And people will come into the gym and buying day passes because they have watched my videos, they've seen the gym. And Leanne, the owner, came up to the gym and said, uh, in the gym, she came up to me and said, I'm going to actually discount your membership each month because you've shown support and you've helped us grow and you've helped us get out there. This sort of thing that I do, I'm only here to kind of, I go to gyms, new gyms, because I want to give you exposure. I want people to go there and try it because it's good. Like I don't want, you know, I'm not there to fucking shit on it, you know? I'm not there, I don't give a fuck about that. If you want to have a shit gym, you have a shit gym, I don't give a shit. If you don't clean and you have rusty weights or don't upgrade it for the past 10 years, I don't give a fuck. I really don't. The gym's a gym. At the same time, like, the reason why people go to the gym and most people see it, especially online, or most people like travel three, four hours to go roll flex is because they've seen it online and they think that gym's fucking cool and I want to go there and I want to train there. That's because of the people that are going to the fucking gym. So if anything, your customers are bringing you more customers. Yeah, it just, it just blows my mind. That concludes that really. It's quite funny. I didn't believe I could cause so much drama, but I, I have. So I thought I'd make a video out of it. I thought I'd milk it a little bit more. I've been giving away tripods. So make sure you follow me on Instagram. Comment down below tripod if you've watched the whole thing. Support the tripod or hashtag free the tri free tripods. Um, that's what the hash hashtag should be at the end is uh, free tripods, free the tri or free the. What did I put earlier? Hashtag free the tripods if you've watched the whole thing. I on Instagram today I've been giving away tripods, so still continue messaging me your your, your address. I'll send you out a tripod. I've sent out I think I think I spent about two hundred and fifty pounds so far on tripods. Uh, I've sent out to people, so if you do get a tripod and I've sent it to you, make sure you tag me on Instagram. So uh, yeah. I thought I'd just send out tripods for people. I might send Shrimp for Asylum a tripod. I might send them five, actually. Look, here you go. There's a bunch of tripods, you fucking melts. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed today's video. I've had a good laugh. I've got some good exposure from it. I've gained about 500 followers on fucking Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube as well. So if you're new around here, welcome to the channel. Fucking love that shit. And we'll see you guys in the next one.